I'm going to be drilling some holes into this nice little enclosure. I'm going to be drilling some holes into this enclosure to accommodate for some of these cable glands. These cable glands are particularly useful for keeping out the elements, water, dust, whatever. Especially when it's coupled with a box like this, with a NEMA rated IP67 box, nothing is going to get inside this thing. First thing we have to do is figure out what size bit we need. So I have a, a M12 1.5 millimeter tap here, and that requires just about a 7 16th bit. So I'm going to throw that bit on here. I'm going to drill my first hole, but first thing we got to do is measure. You can see here, I've already measured to the midpoint on the side here. The, the important part is making sure you're as close to the middle as possible. When you're putting these guys on, especially for a box that has like a minimal height here, about, a, about an inch, is you got to make sure these guys are in the middle. That way, when you add this guy on the other side, it's not going to interfere with anything on the inside. With that being said, I've already marked it just with a pencil. And then what I, t what I did was I took one of these transfer taps and I put it right in the middle, right in the middle where I needed to. I gave a little tap. That way, when we go to drill this guy out, the tip of the drill bit is actually going to catch on that little indent and it's going to go through where I want it to. Then after, I'm going to take this, this tap and actually throw it into the chuck here. I'm going to provide some downward pressure, I'm going to spin it and, and at the same time and that will actually create the threads in this very spot. That way this guy is going to be able to thread right in and if I'm lucky I'll be able to get this nut on the outside. nice clean hole. One thing to bear in mind, these are used to hold printed circuit boards inside this enclosure so you can actually snap them away with some right angle cutters. I will do that later on in this video but for now I'm going to tap this hole, I'm going to mount this guy back into the device here, I'm going to change out to the, the tap and then I'm going to tap this guy. So all I'm providing here is just a slight downward pressure on the handle. I'm not pushing down too hard, I'm actually letting the bit do most of the work. And as you can see, I pretty much can do this all by hand. Nice and snug. Pretty much exactly where I expected. The nice thing about this box and about these cable glands is it kind of does go in further. So I will go back and trim those guys out. But that's that's attach that's attaching one of these cable glands using a drill press. Do not worry if you do not have a drill press. I'm going to show you how to do it with just a tap by hand and also just with a hand drill. As promised, fast forward, I'm going to show you guys how to do this with hand tools. I'm going to be using the drill and we're going to be hand tapping. One thing that worked out much better is hand tapping. Ta hand tapping was much faster by hand and it worked a lot better. So feel free to go ahead and do that yourselves instead of using the drill press. There you have it, 
it's a finished box. I have a bunch of cable glands that are going to service all the wires going into this box. This box is going to house this box is going to house a Euro block or Euro terminal block, which I'm going to be making connections via some ferrules. Everything here is going to be protected from the elements, water, dust, and it should keep everything inside safe for a very long time.